Well, H2O, it's coming down in buckets. Hello, something? We're staying here. Hold on. Nobody knows. Not long enough. Two bits, I bet you we pull out of here before we get hot chow. Oh, stop your quibbling, Kirby. Just lie down and enjoy it. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe they'll call the whole war off, cause a rain. <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? Don't you want to go to Paris? Yeah. yeah. But somehow it just doesn't fascinate me the way it did when I was a civilian. <laughs> hey, what do you say we get up a pool? For what? You mean like when we march into Paris? Yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, buck ahead, Sarge. And we'll get everybody in the outfit. We'll come up with a couple hundred bucks in the pot. Huh? Well, I'm game. As long as Braddock is not in it. Oh, Braddock doesn't qualify. Wait a minute, the platoon runner? Well, what's wrong with his money? Oh, he won once. Didn't you ever hear about that? No, what pool? Kirby, you mean to say you never heard how Braddock won the D-Day pool? No. <laughs> how long ago was that, Doc? I don't know. It seems like two years. It was before the lieutenant got his commission. Come on, start at the beginning. Yeah, what's right. the start off? Take it easy. Take it easy. This is the way it started. We were stationed in England. If you were lucky, you got up to London once in a while. London was a battlefield with all the bombing you had taken. When you got out to the countryside, you could see what was coming. With all the equipment, ammunition and guns being stockpiled and loaded. Of course, on Sundays, it was just like home for lots of us. It all started right in the middle of the sermon. This happy breed, as Shakespeare called us, has reason to be happy once again. For our strength has been renewed and friends have come to help us. They have come by the millions to join us in battle. And now we're ready to strike back. We do not know when this will happen, but we do know that our sons and brothers who left France at Dunkirk We'll soon be going back again to France. All military personnel will return immediately to their bases. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Let us pray. Combat. A Selmer production. time I'll hear from you is in my dreams. All right, honey, honest. I'll send you a big bottle of perfume, too. French perfume, Hazel. Will you, Gil? Promise? Scout's honor. My favorite scout of all. <laughs> Even if you didn't do your good deed for today. Come on, honey. Hazel, in case this is another false alarm, where will you be tonight? At home, love. Waiting for you to knock on the door. Well, if the weather doesn't get any better, I'll be there. You do that, Dax.
What's the scuttlebutt? You think we're really going this time? Only three people in the world know that, Sergeant. And one on the road is not to tell anybody. How does it look over the channel, Brack? Like pea soup. I don't know whether it's fog or low-hanging clouds. What's the difference between fog or low-hanging clouds? I don't know. Here, you take a look. Think it'll blow over? How should I know? Hey, Doc, you're a pretty smart guy. What would you do? You know the pool on D-Day? Today's the day I drew. If we're on a boat by midnight, I'm in 800 bucks. If not, I'm out 50. You paid $50 for a ticket in a pool? No, Gardello offered me $50 for the ticket. Should I take it or hang on to it? I'd, uh, I'd hang on to it. Looks like it'll clear up, huh? No, it looks like it's gonna get worse. Oh. But, uh, I got a feeling that today's gonna be the day. Me too. Then again, I got a hunch that it's not. This is driving me nuts! My point is four, isn't it? That's right. Oh, good. All right, 20, 20, don't make it. Can I have a dollar? Go away with that. A dollar. All right. Have you, have you got all your bets on chaps? That's right. Shoot open. Okay. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Little Joe from Kokomo. Oh, oh I see. Nice. Splendid. Yeah. Don't I win there? Yeah, you really oh. see those dice. Oh, good. Okay, can I try for a seven now? Yeah, you can. Can I have a dollar? Oh, you can't have a dollar. But that's what I always do. Yeah, let's see. You think you got me, huh, Theo? I got you good, my dear. And that's for two. Look, gee. Well, we'll see about that. Here. Hey. Hey, can I take on the winner, you guys? Oh, it's the last game, Doc. We're going to PX. Gee, allez, joue, c'est ton tour. Non, qu'est-ce que t'attends, c'est à toi. Oh, qu'ils sont nice. I'm a guest, qu'ils nous regardent comme un... <laughs> I say, what are those chaps? Uh, French Canadians? They're Cajuns from Louisiana. Come on, shoot the dice. We can I bet a dollar? Okay. Uh, are we all ready? Yeah, yeah. we're ready. Go ahead. I'll bet a dollar. How's the headache, Beecham? Well, it's... Well, maybe you better take some more pills. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, those guys never stop jabbering last night till three o'clock. Oh, no. Jabber, jabber. No, no, jabber, jabber. Jabber. Yeah. Reviens au jeu. Non, c'est pas tout. On s'en fout. No, no, tu as pas le droit de faire ça. Tu as le droit. Knock it off, you two. Knock off that trunk, trunk. Hey, come on. Hey, break it up. Come on, Caddy. Hey, what? Take it easy, Caddy. He's a little jumpy because he's got a headache. Beecham. You say frog once again, you, and you won't have a head to have a headache. Come on, relax, huh? Just relax. Come on. Bien, Theo. Bien. Go. Okay, you guys, it's all over. Just relax. Huh? All these days I'm gonna get one of those guys alone, and I'm gonna break cover. Yeah. Here, take some of these and try to get some sleep, huh? I say, gentlemen, uh, shall we resume our little game? Hey, uh, Doc. Uh, would you call this excuse me? Doc, uh, can I borrow your shoe brush? Yeah, sure. Hey, I didn't know you were in the North African campaign. Well, you know, we won it, didn't you? I mean, you should have put two and two together and figured out was there. Well, I knew you were in Italy. That's where you got the Purple Heart, right? Come on, Doc. Shoe brush. Hubba hubba. How did it happen? Shrapnel? Uh, no, Doc. Bullet? No, I, um, cut a finger opening a sea ration can. I'm serious. I know you are, Doc, but what you want to do is, is get your mind off it. I can't. Sure you can. I don't know, maybe it's because it's the first time. Does it get easier, Sergeant? I mean, once you know what it's like? Well, what you want to do is, uh, think of something else. You think of, a um, pretty girl you got a fixed in your mind and just don't let her go. Yeah, I tried that one. She turned into a guy nine feet tall coming out here with a bayonet. And he'll turn back into a pretty girl if you try hard enough. Why don't they make up their minds? Seven weeks we've been here. Restricted one day and then passes the next, and restricted again and then passes again. Why don't they do something? Doc, it's the weather. Paratroopers need moonlight, tides have to be right, the channel can't be too rough. Hey, listen, I never heard that many before. Yeah, hey, they're bombers. Paratroopers won't leave until dark. And it won't be in weather like this. Come on, Doc, take it easy. Thanks for the shoe brush, huh? I think I'll bet a dollar. Shall, yeah, go away with that Shall we go for another 40, gentlemen? Why don't you bet 80? 40 is enough this time. <laughs> I say, what you like? Let me see those dice. What a marvelous game. I wish I'd learned this years ago. Oh, believe this guy. He makes fours, he makes fives, he makes nines. From the old 
in the blow. Saunders, is that the kind the paratroopers go in? They're bombers. Roll me over. Saunders! Where do you think you're going? Oh, just not to get a breath of fresh air. I just saw Lieutenant Crowley. He says we're not only restricted to camp, we're restricted to the company area. Oh, well, if I see any of our men, I'll tell them. Hey, wait a minute. What are you wearing the fruit salad for? Well, I thought it might boost the morale of the men who haven't seen combat. Oh, uh, Sergeant Hanley, good conduct ribbons on crooked. Wait a minute. I know why you're wearing that. You're going to town. How can I think of going to town? We're restricted. Well, we were restricted last Saturday. And you not only thought of it, you got there. And you saw Hazel. Hazel? Hazel who? Now, you listen to me, Saunders. If this alert turns out to be another false alarm and you keep trying to ace me... Well, whose morale were you going to boost with these? Well, you see, there's a little old lady at the PX. She's been doing my laundry. I'm now, you listen to me, Saunders. I built that fire in town. And if anybody gets burned, it's going to be me. You just volunteered for guard duty. Now, you wouldn't be that chicken, would you? Well, I know it's not your turn, but uh, I think it'll steady the men's nerves to know there's a combat veteran on duty. Get your rifle and helmet. Saunders, make sure your rifle's clean. Bombers, huh? How do I know? Boy, there sure are a lot of them today. Roll me over in the clover. Hey, uh, Saunders. Isn't it about time you started getting ready for guard duty? Hanley, in case you're thinking of hopping that fence. Me? And take a chance of losing my good conduct, Griffin? That's not all you lose. They'll bust you right down and buck private. You ought to know. You've been there often enough. Henley, I'm warning you. If you go to town, I'm gonna find out one way or the other. Well, I'm just going out for a little breath of fresh air. I don't care what they are. That's more planes than I've ever heard before. Hey, the weather must have cleared. Uh, another snake eyes for dear old Godello. <laughs> hey, Craddock. Huh? For the last time, you gonna sell me your ticket in the pool? I'll be right back, Cardell. I'll be right back. You better get it while he's still got 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Gardello, here's the ticket. Hey. Wait a minute. Hey, where are you going? We made a deal. Hey, where's the 50 bucks? Uh, well, uh, a little mist did come down since yeah, I was out there. a little mist. Well, listen, it's, uh, it's clear as a baby's breath over the show. Sure, trail. it's clear. Listen, you know you can see for three miles out there? I could take a walk out there. Listen, Gardella, would I do anything to you? No, you wouldn't do anything. You're my pal, aren't you, Brad? Listen, you want to do me a favor? Do you want it or don't you want it? Yeah, I want it so I can ram it right down your throat. Hey, hey! All right, break it up! All right, now, beat you. Come on, I'll take it easy. Let's go open your bunk now. Come on. All right, everybody go back to your bunks. Let's clean up this pig pen. Inspection in 30 minutes, including rifles. Well, let's go! This isn't a pig pen. It's a chicken coop. I, I say, you chaps, it looks as if I'll have to be on my way now. Yeah, we uh, we don't leave tonight, you come back. We'll do. Thank Bring you very much. Money. Marvelous game. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.
Beecham. All right, cut it out. Beecham. Now listen to me, Beecham. Listen. Let him and I go outside and finish it. It's already finished. Yeah, I'm... I'm okay. It's okay with me. Let's save it for the beachhead, Beecham. Just you and me. Shoulder to shoulder. Cold steel instead of fist. Cut it out, Braddock. Bullets flying. Men screaming. Braddock! Let's get busy on the rifles. Yeah, yeah, What do they mean? They mean, uh, sheep, sheep, uh, where are you going? Uh, to the, uh... Slaughterhouse. Uh, when are you coming back? Never. <laughs> That's a charming yes. song. Paris! Paris! You men are all restricted to the barracks from now on. You will fall out in 30 minutes with full field equipment and move out as soon as you've drawn ammunition or grenades. You will also be issued anti sick pills. And I advise you to take them. Good luck. I made it! 800 bucks! 800 bucks! 800... interest. Bad times have counted already. Never came out the same way twice. What difference does it make? You know, better way to pass the time. One, two. Yeah, I three. know a better way, Braddock. Talking to a friend. So what am I, Hitler? Or I'm, I mean, a real friend, five, Braddock. You know, like six, like somebody you knew back home. I'm well, sure we're all buddies here, but it's it's not the same. Tu sais, Braddock, je peux pas voir dépenser tout son argent. <rire> je te dis qu'il va ouvrir une banque en France. C'est deal, Sergeant. Our platoon hits the beach right after the Rangers. Have the men ready to board the assault boats at 0500. Have you seen the way those assault boats are bouncing around out there? I'd as soon be in a canoe. Well, I had planned on chartering a yacht, but I thought it might be a bit snobbish. Mission's still the same as before. Secure the bluffs on the beachhead and move inland. But you move ahead of us, Sergeant, on a recon patrol. 
Uh, peel off with one squad just as soon as you can. Any particular squad you want? First squad. Well, here's the map for your patrol. You move in and on the right of the bluffs on the beach. Paratroopers. There's a farmhouse about 500 yards from the orchard. A platoon of paratroopers is supposed to come in here and set up an outpost. If the enemy is in the farmhouse, when we cross the stream, we'll get cut to ribbons. Our patrol only has one mission, to find out who's in there and get word back to battalion so they'll know whether to advance or to pour in artillery. Any questions? Yeah. Sergeant Saunders. Did you get it all straight? I got it straight the first time you went over it, but I uh, do have a question. What? Well, why don't we go around the orchard instead of through it? Because our orders are to get to that farmhouse as fast as possible. There's just liable to be more than apples in that orchard. Now I hear this. Now I hear this. Ford Landing Craft TA-142. Repeat. TA-142. Third platoon, Ford Landing Craft. Third platoon, Ford Landing Craft. All right, first squad up and over. Come on, let's go, fellas. Board the landing crack. Come on, first one up and over. Let's go. Come on, Beecher, move, move. Beecher, move it. Got it. Beecher, will you move? Come on, bitch. Take all of my hands and beat him, sir, Come on, bitch. Beat him. the side of the landing boat. Bitch, can you hear me? You're gonna be all right. We're gonna get you to, to a hospital ship. Thanks for trying, Batter. Yeah. That's all anybody can do is try. Try his best. Is that right, Sergeant? Yeah, that's, that's right. Come on, let's move him back. All right, move him back. Take it easy.
bunch up, spread out! will beat your flanks to cover the advance on the beach. Where are they? This is rough. Just take a look at those ranges. You're working way over those rocks. Come on. Come on. Over there. All right, get the patrol on the road and call back as soon as you can. Not on that radio, Lieutenant. Gardello? Yeah. Well, send back a couple of men and let us know about the farmhouse. You better all come back and break up into Paris to make sure that somebody gets here. How you doing, Doc? As bad as I thought it would be. It's worse. Doc, you start crawling over there where Braddock is. Keep down low. Caddy, Leo, work your way over to those rocks. On your bellies all the way. Let's go down. Come on! On your bellies all the way. Ooh. You picked a bad place to park, Hanley. You better move before they give you a ticket. shape. No bullets, no blankets, no rations. I did manage to save my life preserver. So in case of a flood. Boy, I never thought I'd think about it. food at a time like this with shells bursting. What do you got there, Miss Tam? Cheese. Cheese. She was a tough break me losing my rations. Man, I've never been this hungry. Out of here when you got that package of cookies last week? 
that. Every one you sell. Remember? On your feet. Come on, Caddy, let's go. Come on. Let's go. That's it, all right. We'll go around it. You're getting smart, Sergeant. Well, being around a military genius like you, some of it's bound to rub off on me. Well, it's bound to. Just like you being a genius with the women. Some of it's bound to rub off on me. How do you like that? I got a life preserver and no bullets. And no rations. What do you got in the other one, mince ham? I haven't looked. Would you take a buck for it? A buck for mince ham? Five bucks? Let's not be bunching up, Braddock. Drop back a couple of yards, huh? Ten bucks. I said to drop back. Fifteen? Now look, Braddock. 20, how about 20? Listen, son, this doesn't have to be minced ham. Anything will do. How about 30? Would you take 30? I don't want your money, now drop back. Okay. 40? How about 50? I'll give you 100. Braddock! Next time, hang on to your rations. <laughs> farmhouse. There's that platoon of paratroopers. What's left of them? Why didn't they give us mortars and machine guns? We weren't sent here to fight. We're supposed to take a look and report back. Report what? That they ought to be laying artillery in on those paratroopers? If we don't help them escape, nobody will get a chance to. We've got to put up a fight. close enough to get that tank with grenades? Grenades? Might as well use spitballs against that kind of a tank. You are the first American that we meet. We are so happy that you have come to liberate our country. That you and all the other brave American and English. You are wounded? Oh, but we will embarrass with all that Ali Matia, voyons. You do not like the speeches, huh? Well, I should have known. Heroes are modest. I'm not a hero. Oh, yes. No. Je suis pas un héros. You speak French? Je suis 
pas un héros. Ah, je sais ce que c'est, il est fatigué, il est escaldé, voyons. Ce sont les nerfs, je connais tout ça. Attends, t'as pris. Oh, t'as pris pas, ce n'est pas de l'eau. Du vin rouge. Oh, tiens, tiens. C'est bon, hein. Encore un peu. Ça te fera du bien. Merci beaucoup. But I'm missing a one chance. He's not only going to hit the tank, but he's going to hit it in the right place. Just how good are you with a grenade launcher? Uh, how good is anybody? Just squeeze the trigger and pray. We get one prayer and then those machine guns open up. Anything I can do? Doc, I told you to stay back there. If we can't make it, I'm counting on you to get back to battalion. Yeah, but I figured if one of us... Ah, oh, there's a thousand of our men back on the beach. There's only ten of us up here. Okay, Hanley. Everybody fires at once. Yes, Sergeant. Sergeant Hanley. Sergeant Hanley. Doc, how many times do I have to tell... Hey, Saunders. Look. Look what I got. The British dropped from the French resistance. They had it all hidden in the woods. There's a lot more where it comes from. Well, what do you know? And how do you like the French resistance, Sergeant? Saunders, this is yours. I'll take the other one. You lies us all the way to Paris. Well, we ain't going to Paris as long as that tank's on there. Oh, Caddy told me about the tank. Hey! Oh, no, no, that is wine for later on. Uh. Here, these ones have gasoline. Gasoline? All right, I'm going to go around the other side and try for that tank. Cover me, huh? Oh, bravo, bravo.
gegeben auf! Nicht schießen! Nicht schießen, Kameraden! Werft eure Gewehre weg! Alles ist verloren! Hey, Slash, haven't got a beat up old chocolate bar, have you? I'm oh, sorry, soldier. I just gave my last one away. And I already ate it. The hey, soldier. Hey, thanks, Sarge. Beautiful gesture, Sandy. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Mamselle, uh, would you like another one? Monsieur, for moi? I have one for Papa, for Fran. Oh, uh, Sergeant, uh, uh, keep them covered, will you? And, uh, I think I have one here for my mom. All right, come on, move these prisoners out. Let's go! All right, Sergeant, close it up. Close it up. Close it up. Hey! Hey, listen, we're getting up a pull on house soon we reach Paris. Five bucks a ticket. You want to go in and split one with me? Blow. Oh, come on, Braddock. Blow. Oh, Caddy! Caddy! Es que me oye rojo será el promo de Skurman Brasil. Adieu, Marcel. How do you say I love you in French? Je t'aime, chérie. Je t'aime, je t'aime. Je t'aime, chérie. Je t'aime. Je t'aime aussi, de tout mon cœur. It works. Yeah, Paris, here we come. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. 